My name is Will Power. I'm a producer for Super High Beats Incorporated. I'm out of Columbia, South Carolina. Most of my newfound success is uh, based off of my partner, Yellow Wolf. I produced his uh, first mixtape, Trunk Music, as well as his uh, first release, Trunk Music, Zero to 60. I did uh, roughly nine records on each of those projects. I just did a, a record called uh, Middle of You with uh, Wiz Khalifa. It was uh, uh, written by Pooh Bear and performed by MDMA, Nakia, Chevy Woods, and um, and of course Wiz Khalifa. It's a really dope record. It's a real dope summertime vibe. We kind of took an old school Atlanta vibe, you know, Kilo, Raheem the Dream type of vibe with the beat structure of the record and just kind of just kind of tripped out on it, man. And uh, of course, Wiz Khalifa killed it, man. And Chevy Woods killed it. I guess essentially, you know, if I had to define myself as a producer, I would want people to um, to know that you can't really expect one certain vibe or one certain thing from me. I've been, you know, producing a long time. I've been producing for about 12 or 15 years. You know, I'm really interested in mastering the cultivation of different sounds and different types of vibes. So. You know, a lot of people know me for the trunk music vibe and assume, you know, and fairly assume that I'm that type of producer that's just gonna give you like heavy trunk music, you know, a lot of bass, a lot of, you know, tricks on hi-hats and, and snare work. But in all actuality, you know what I'm saying, I like to um, dibble and dab and all types of things. I grew up listening to rock music. I grew up listening to pop music, jazz, gospel. And it's just everything, you know, so in my music, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm, you, you probably won't catch me um, trying to produce the same type of artist or the same type of music, you know, two times in one city. You know, it's like I produced a record on Yellow Wolf. I won't be looking to do another Yellow Wolf style project probably ever again because that's his sound. That's what we cultivated as, as a, a unit. My artist Nakia, there's nothing on her project that sounds like anybody else's stuff. It sounds like her stuff. And um, even with the Wiz record, I feel like I produced a record that I felt for myself and for Wiz that fit Wiz. You know, not I didn't try to I didn't try to go and um, give Wiz a trunk music record. The Shady 2.0 record was uh, essentially a vibe record that uh, myself and KP Kawan Prather started on while we were out in Vegas working on uh, Yellow Wolf's project, his uh, new album. It was just a jamming beat, a jamming vibe, you know, good uh, good producer vibe in the room. Riggs Morales came out to see what we were doing, you know, for Yellow Wolf's album to check on us and stuff, and uh, he happened to uh, get, the, get a chance to hear that record. From there, he just felt like it would be a great posse cut for the entire, you know, Shady crew, the new 2.0 Shady crew. We did what we, what we had to do out in Vegas with the record, and then we sent it off to Eminem, and then Eminem, you know, blessed it with the rest of the production on the record. You know, Joe Ortiz, Crooked Eye, Joe Budden, Royce the Five Nine, Yellow Wolf, and of course Eminem. These are guys that the entire industry is watching, you know, these guys are all dope, every one of them. It was just a, you know, a phenomenal vibe turned into a phenomenal record, and it's a, it's a blessing, you know, something that I'm, I'm very proud of right now. I want all of the world to know about my new artist, Nakia. Um, she's gonna be new to y'all, of course she's not new to me, but I'm working on a project called Speak Her. She started with myself and Yellow Wolf at Super Hot Beats. Um, and she's just kind of been around the whole time. Uh, she was featured on Yellow Wolf's uh, initial trunk music project on a song called Speaker Sex. And um, the feedback that we got on this record was really good. A lot of people uh, really loved the sound of her voice and the vibe that she added to the record. She's a phenomenal artist, a phenomenal writer. We're, we're, we're doing some, uh, some pop and hip hop and jazz infused music and uh, We've created a new genre, and it's called Jam. We're genre bending right now, so I want everybody to look out for this project. I think uh, you guys will all be um, excited about it once you hear and see what we're doing with it. Yo, this is Will Power on Three Little Digs. Support my people because they support me. Peace.